Hello, g'day, my name is Sean, and this is the first video of a series in which we'll be talking about what a NAS is and understanding on how it works. So first of all, the term NAS is actually an acronym and what it stands for is Network Attached Storage. So it's a standalone device that connects to your existing network and provides an external storage solution for you to back up your computers, your mobile phones and your iPads. Essentially what you're doing is creating your own personal cloud. So a lot of what I talk about in this video and in some future videos about um, setting up and using a NAS is going to be about the NAS that I personally use. So the NAS that I use is this guy up here, um, which is a NAS from a company called Synology. It's a DS416J and it can hold up to four hard drives. Now at the moment I've actually only got two hard drives installed and I've got the option of later on down the track of adding some more hard drives. Now each hard drive uh, that's in my NAS is four terabytes each and it's in a RAID 1 configuration. So what RAID 1 simply is, is when you've got all of the data on one hard drive and that data is being duplicated and copied across onto a second drive. So if a hard drive was to fail, for example, you haven't actually lost all of your data as one hard drive would hopefully still be functioning and you could still continue accessing data from that hard drive. So once you've picked up your NAS and you've picked up the hard drives that you want to install into it and you've installed them, the next step is to power it on and to connect it to your network. So as far as connecting it to your network, it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is plug in an ethernet cable from the back of the NAS straight into your modem or your modem router. There should also be some documentation that comes with your NAS about how to access your NAS using something like a web browser. Um, and then that will take you through a configuration wizard some of the things that we decided to use our NAS for was obviously for backing up. So I'm just going to quickly list the devices we use to back up to our NAS. Some of the other uh, extra things that we do with our NAS besides backing up is we've set up our NAS as a media server. So we can actually put videos um, that we might have recorded on our phones and we can actually set up our NAS to be accessible from our Apple TV. Um, so we can actually stream video or stream movies from our NAS to our Apple TV wirelessly over the network. Um, and then one other thing that we like to do with our NAS is we like to use it as a media, um, sorry, as an editing server. So when we're editing video in Final Cut or in Adobe Premiere, for example, we're doing that all directly from our NAS. We don't have to worry about transferring data from the NAS to the computer and back again. We're editing directly 4K footage from the NAS um, and it transfers at a roughly, at about 100 to 110 megabytes per second. So the performance is, is gonna be on par with what we would get from the PC or from the iMac anyway. So thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to check out the other videos in the series and subscribe to see more videos like this. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Cheers.